Katie Schmidt-Kolvitz was born in Prussia, which is now part of Russia, on July 8, 1867, and died on April 22, 1945. Kolvitz was a German expressionist. She created artwork using printmaking techniques and drawing. Despite the realism of her early works, her art is closely associated with expressionism. She has a talent to express extreme emotion of grief, fear, and death itself. She married a family doctor who administered to the poor people of Prussia. They had two sons together. The artwork presented here is an example of one of her many self-portraits. This one was created in 1921. Here are two examples of printmaking techniques. Both techniques start with a plate, one made of wood and one made of metal. On your left is a woodcut. For a woodcut, an artist cuts away the negative space and leaves the positive space. The ink lays on top of the positive space, so it works like a rubber stamp. On your right is an etching. The lines are etched with a tool or made deeper with an acid bath. The ink is pushed into the lines, and then the paper lays over the plate and is printed with a press. Each technique can create up to 100 prints. Colvitz used printmaking as her primary medium because of its strong contrast. She used the graphic and expressive powers of the medium to present to the public a raw look at the root causes and long-lasting effects of war. She believed that art should reflect the social conditions of the time, and during the 1920s, she produced a series of works reflecting her concern with the themes of war, poverty, working-class life, and the lives of ordinary women. The artwork presented here is a woodcut called Jobless or Unemployed, made in 1925. The woodcut makes an extreme dark areas surrounding the faces that are stark white. The little girl with her bulging eyes holds onto a spoon tightly. The father has his hand to his throat and the mother holds up her baby to hide her face. During World War I, she lost her son Peter. Then she lost her grandson during World War II. Her grandson was named after her son, Peter. She never fully recovered. Because of this, she used her sorrow to capture the grief and harrowing experiences of war, especially the parent's loss of a child. She also portrayed the plight of workers and peasants. The artwork presented here is a lithograph called Survivors, made in 1923. In this image, the mother is the central figure, wrapping her arms around the terrified children. Her eyes are almost pitch black, and her face looks like a skeleton. But she carries on to tend to the survivors. Behind her are some of the survivors of the war. Two of the figures have their eyes covered, like they no longer want to see the horror. In the artwork presented here, we have a lithograph called Death Seizes the Woman. But if you look closely, it look, looks like death may be there for both mother and child because he has his arm around both. This is a repeated theme for Colwitz. She explains that she feels closer to her lost son Peter, Peter any time she creates artwork with the mother and child theme. When I was drawing, I cried along with the fearful children. I felt it the burden I was carrying. This is a quote by the artist Katie Kolwitz. This artwork presented here is called Widow and Orphans, created in 1919. Kolwitz helped her husband in his practice as a doctor, and she saw firsthand the struggles of the common people. Colvitz rarely depicted real people, and this work, called In Memoriam of Karl Liebschnitz, was created in 1920 in response to his assassination. He was a communist leader. Colvitz was not communist, but when his family asked her to do this work, she did admire him as a leader, so she agreed. This work is unique among her prints, and though it memorializes the man, it does so without advocating for his ideology. 
His body lays horizontal like a stiff post. The people hover over him with extreme lost looks in their faces and in their eyes. Two of those people are a mother and child, a common theme for Colvitz. In this artwork, The March of the Weavers, people are armed with axes and wooden poles. The emaciated and embittered weavers march to the house of their employer with their fists clenched. The overall atmosphere of the scene is characterized by bleak desolation. Colvitz has created artwork with happier moments of the mother and child theme. Here are two images with the mother and child both smiling and healthy. Colvitz was the first woman to not only be elected to, to the Prussian Academy of Arts, but to also receive honorary professor status. Colvitz expresses her hope and she explains, but someday a new ideal will arise and there will be an end of all wars. People will have to work hard for that new state of things, but they will achieve it.